What's up guys, my name's Cam, you're watching Stray Garage, and today we're going to learn how to change the cabin air filter on a 2019 to present Lexus ES350 or ES300 hybrid. Let's get into it. Okay guys, to begin this repair, you're actually going to want to start in the driver's seat, even though uh, the filter is located in the passenger seat. What you want to do, go ahead, turn your AC on, any temperature doesn't matter, and uh, make sure the fan speed is, uh, it doesn't matter, but I always put it in the lowest setting, and then make sure for airflow, you are on recirculation, or, or, or in other words, the, the picture with the arrow... Uh, inside of the car you don't want the air flowing through the car okay uh, a lot of people ask cam why is that cam that's unnecessary blah blah blah, blah. uh i don't know why but with lexus what they do is uh there's a special gate or locking mechanism inside all of their cars my own eis250 and this car as well that if you don't put it in recirculation mode it won't let you seat the cabin uh, air filter in their back correctly so uh, long explanation short, basically you need it, okay? Just do it, you have to do it in recirculation mode with the AC running. Okay, now the next thing you're gonna wanna do is open up your glove box and remove everything that you have in here. Uh, this is a loaner car, so we just have the window sticker and whatnot. And then uh, you should see something like this. Now this is the access door to your cabin air filter. Now what you wanna do is open up both sides of this little plastic cover and pop it off. Uh, people in my other videos have had problems with them falling inside. Please don't do that. Be careful. Pull them out like that. And now uh, you should see the direct cover for your cabin air filter. Now this thing took me a hot minute to figure out how to open up. But basically what you want to do is get your finger on the edge of this and just pop it open. Just like so. Just here. These little edge pieces. Just put your finger on the edges of those. Pop it open. There should be some tabs on the side that slide in and out of... Uh... Here, let me try to focus the camera for you guys. Uh, little plastic loops there. Hopefully you guys can see. Okay, it does a little number like that. You just want to slide it out like that. And there's your cabin air filter. Now do pay attention. Uh, there are arrows that indicate which side is up. Okay, you want to you wanna, uh, install it back the same way. Now, we can go in here and just pull this right on out. And then we can see our beautiful, uh, in this case, charcoal carbon air or, uh, cabin air filter. Now I will say when you're replacing this guys, you really have two options from Lexus. You have a charcoal one like this, which is supposed to block allergens and, and, and uh, other stuff a lot better. Uh, these things will run you about $30, I believe. And uh, the standard air filters are just plain white. They're about $20, $25. And, uh, if you're really on a budget, I'll, I'll add some links in the description down below. You can get like Arm & Hammer filters for like 10 bucks, or you can even get a reusable K&N filter. I don't really like those things, but people like them. Anyways, uh, so this is what your filter looks like. Now let me show you guys real quick how to uh, get it out. Uh, basically, there are little tabs. You just want to squeeze it. You don't really care since you're going to throw this one away, right? And you take it out like so. Uh, these filters will have uh, directional arrows. Lexus makes it nice and easy that says up. Uh, if it says up, you want it facing up, uh, matching the uh, plastic tray here. If in the case it says airflow, which uh, some of those aftermarket uh, Amazon uh, filters will say, uh, what you actually want is the opposite. You want the airflow going down. So if it says airflow on the side, you want it going down because that's the direction that the air actually flows. Uh, so you want it in the op opposite direction of up. But if it says up, make it match. Does that make sense? And so then you would put your new filter in and uh, slide the tray back in. Uh, make sure the up arrow is facing out. Uh, only one side says up, and that is the side that should be facing outside. Uh, then we can slide this in. It's a little hard to do this while staring through the camera. Um, you can slide this right in, and uh, it doesn't really click or snap in anything. It just slides in. Now, I will say, I tested it. If you, if you do not put your car on circulation mode, this thing will not sit correctly, and you will not be able to put this back on. So if you're having a very hard time putting this back on, it's because you're not in recirculation mode. And uh, if you're really having a hard time, what really helped me is just pull this filter out and tr try practicing putting this cover in without anything in there. So you get a feel for how it should. If it's like catching in here and it's not twisting and, and you have to use a lot of force, don't, do not, you're, you're, something is not lined up, okay? You're gonna snap the, the skinny, cheap little plastic tabs on the side, okay? You wanna be real uh, easy and gentle with this. It Nothing should be muscled or forced about it, okay? And so once you have your filter put back in, then we can just go ahead, let's see so hard to do this one-handed you want to slide those tabs back in and once they slide this thing should just swing right on in again if it's sticking way out like this and it's not closing you did something wrong it's not fitting right uh try again please don't break it but that's it um it just snaps on just push it on that's it 
And then finally, you take your uh, outside cover. Again, do please be careful not to drop it in. There are some tabs at the bottom, three of them you guys can see there, and they lock into three little holes uh, down there like so. And then once they're locked in, just push it in until it snaps. And that's all there is to it. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. Quick and easy five-minute little DIY maintenance item for your beautiful Lexus ES at home. Uh, as always, I hope you guys found this video entertaining, and I hope that I was able to help you out. If it did help you out, or if I did help you out, uh, please take a minute to give me a thumbs up down below, and possibly consider subscribing. It really helps my channel continue to grow. And uh, with that all out of the way, guys, there's not much more to it. I will see you all next video.